primary variation. The problem is that even the primary variation is not done at source. Okay? You know what I mean at source? The source is the farm gate. You get it? Because we're not doing the primary validation at source. There's still a lot of waste. There's a lot of uh, drug. And there's poor volume realization. You get it? So we put our minds together and we realize that many of the things the investors are trying to do at primary value addition level, if properly planned and aggregated, and if the communities could be empowered to yield value added products at farm gate that is modified as a community processing cooperative, would have better bargaining power and win win across the supply chain. So we modified our supply chain so, uh, source from a farm gate to a community processing unit, okay? CPU. Remember my title is Innovative Model of Supply Chain Management. And we are using the cascade of processing primarily secondary and tertiary to get there. And we are saying that the traditional source is a farm gate, isn't it? The problem of the traditional approach is the farm gate brings a lot of exploitation to the farmer. It creates a lot of middlemen. It creates a lot of inefficiency. And when you want to do the way Madivan does it, then you may even wipe out the farms of what? Of individuals, you get it? In a bid to get the volumes that you want. Because farmers, if they don't see the money, they are going to be very inefficient. Jeno, allow me to say that farmers are not fools. However much you make them produce, if it's not bringing profit, they will remain inefficient. So that's what happens in the traditional model, which I call the colonial model. The production was concentrated to the farmers. Each farmer was to sell as a unit. Eventually they had some cooperatives, but the cooperatives were to aggregate and even take away the profits from the farmers. In many cases, you find that the farmer, even if he was in the cooperative, would not know the selling, final selling prices which are taking place at the end. So we say we cannot draw into a fresh perishable commodity like banana a source which is a farm gate, which is a unitary person. Because we had quality issues, we had technology issues, we had sustainability issues, which you could not do with one person. So we formed in our mind what we call the community processing unit. The community processing unit was for us to aggregate the family of farm, farmer, banana farmers that were going to work with us. First of all, to aggregate volumes of, coll of, of collection of bananas. And when these volumes grew because of improved productivity through our interface, their interface with us, to eventually leads to them the ability to add primary value. In our banana model, the primary value is basically what you all know. is peeling, washing, slicing, 
And what you don't have, which we have, is a drying facility. But actually, if the heat was like this every year, 